What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own website. So Wix reached out recently and teamed up with me to show you guys how to build your very own professional website using their platform. You don't have to have any knowledge of coding to get started, so Wix's tools are great at helping you build your online presence. It's a very intuitive and straightforward process and can be done at no cost. Wix even provides premium plans of their site builder which will unlock features such as connecting a domain you may already own as well as additional storage for your content. You can even purchase a new domain through Wix so your site can definitely look and feel polished. Here's a quick look at the website I made for myself and in this video I'll be showing you guys how it can be made in just under 10 minutes. So once we are on Wix.com and create an account we have to choose which type of website we want to create. Wix is geared towards just about anyone, whether you're someone that runs a business, a musician, a designer, or a photographer, for example. But for my website, I'm going to go ahead with a blog. The next item we're going to select is the Wix Artificial Design Intelligence, or ADI for short. Now I will be typing in tech blog for the type of website. I'm not going to be selling anything on the website or taking any appointments, so we can leave those unchecked. And of course, I will be using the name TechSource for the website. And I won't be using an address for it, so we can skip that step as well. Now over here, you can add extra information about yourself that viewers of the website may find relevant. Making all aspects of your brand easily accessible is very important, so I'll be adding my social media links as well as the TechSource logo. Now if we click on next, we'll be taken to where we start using the Wix ADI. So now we have to pick a theme for our website. None of these really stand out to me, but Wix always allows you to modify it later on. So for now, I'll be choosing the Agile theme. All we have to do now is let Wix create the homepage and we'll be ready to make the website into our own. Okay, this isn't looking too bad so far. I think the first thing I'm going to be doing is changing the colors so they match better with the theme of TechSource. So I'll click Site Design on the top left corner and then customize it. Now from here, we can change the color palette, the color palette mode, and the font set being used on our current theme. Now while Wix includes a wide variety of color palettes, none of them are exactly what I like. So I can go in and change the colors for each part of the website as exactly as I'd like. Okay, now it's definitely looking better now. Now the next thing I want to change is the header because it has a phone number field. I won't be using this, so all I have to do is click on the header and simply uncheck the phone number field and it's gone. Wix makes making any changes like these super easy. Now the rest of the header looks good, but I'm going to add more pages. So currently all I have is a home page, but I do want to add an about me page as well. So to do that, just click on the page in the left hand corner and then select add page to make a new one. Wix already provides a wide range of styles to choose from that can be customized just like the home page. I think I'm going to go ahead with this one. Now we are on the about page and Wix has added a link to the page to the top of the header. It's looking good so far but the stock image is out of place and it isn't relevant to the site we are making. So all I have to do is click on it and select replace option on the sidebar. Now I can use any image that I've already uploaded or upload a new one to use on this page. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and move forward to the site editor. So all you have to do is go to the site at the top right and then click on go to editor. Now you must be sure that you are done using the ADI because you won't be able to return to it once you go into the editor. Okay, so now that we are in the editor, we can fine tune the website even further than before. Now the first thing that immediately stands out to me is this large image right at the top of the page. I'm going to change this to something more fitting for text source, so all I have to do is click anywhere on the image and select change strip background. Now instead of using an image provided by Wix, I'm going to use my own that I uploaded just like I did on the about me page. I still have this big block of text covering the image, but I want to remove that and use something that's more enticing to people that visit my website. So I can easily click on the text and press delete on the keyboard to remove them. It's very simple. So what I want to add instead is a video, something that represents TechSource as a brand. To do that, I click on the plus button on the left side and select video. From there, I'll choose YouTube and it will automatically be placed in the center. 
There's a number of options to edit the video player, but the first one I'll start with is choosing the video to play. For this, I'll use my latest video. Now there are a few options here for video playback, so I can toggle on or off autoplay, loop and even visibility of the player controls. Since autoplay and video loop could get distracting to the viewers, I will leave those off for now. But I will keep video controls set to on hover so they don't get in the way when someone is watching the video. So the video player is looking a bit on the small side, so I will resize it first before making any other changes. So this looks good, not too big, but not too small where it's hardly visible. Now for the layouts, you can choose the visibility of the video title and the player controls. I will hide the video title since those are usually on the thumbnail anyways, and leave the video controls on the default dark color. Now the last option is the design of the video frame itself. I'm going to add a slight drop shadow just so it rests cleaner on the top of the background image. Now that's looking a lot better. Now scrolling below that is the section for blog posts. I'm going to keep this as is since I like the way it's already designed, but I'm going to add a social media feed to the right side. So all I have to do is click on the add button again on the left side and pick an option from the social media category. I'm going to add a social media stream since I want to quickly show my latest tweets alongside the newest posts to the blog. So once the app is added to the site, I just have to double click the top and begin connecting my Twitter account to it. So over here I'll select feeds and then add my Twitter account. And then from here I can add another account or even choose which tweets are visible on the website. But I will leave this alone and let Wix fetch each new tweet that goes out. So now I can resize just like with the other elements on the website and move it around the page. I will shrink it however to match the size of the recent posts, archive and even tag elements and put the tweets right below those. I'm really liking how the site is turning out and it's all been an extremely easy process. But what I want to do next is make the header always visible no matter how far someone scrolls down on a page. So to do that I will go back to the top of the page and click inside the header then the gear icon. Now all I have to do is toggle on the freeze header and now the text source title and links will follow when I scroll up and down the page. I just noticed at the bottom of the page that there is a dedicated section with contact information. Since I won't be needing this, I will simply just remove it. Just like with every other option on Wix, just click on the section and delete it. It's as simple as that. I will also be doing the same for the subscription box since I won't be running a newsletter through the website. Since we are this far into the site design process, I think I should check how it will appear on other devices. Wix makes this very easy and all I have to do is click on the phone icon at the top of the editor and switch it to mobile view. By default, Wix optimizes any website for desktop and mobile versions, which is pretty cool. And just like that, the site looks great and easy to navigate even on a smaller screen. I can even tab over to the about page and check how that looks as well. From here, I can modify the different elements just for the mobile view, but for now, I will leave it as is. So I think the site is looking pretty good and ready for publishing. Just like with any other website, I can go back and add new posts, reorganize the elements of it, and even change up the entire design altogether. But I think this is a pretty good start for now. If you guys want to check out this website I created for myself, I'll drop a link to it down below. So that's it for the video. As you guys saw, it's very easy to build a website using Wix in under 10 minutes. Even with the free version of the service, everything you need to get started and get your name out there is provided. As I mentioned before, there are also paid premium versions that will unlock more features to take your new website to the next level. I'll drop a link to the website down below so you guys can build one for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.